lots of people love to make fun of curling. They come here on Saturday night to clean the ice? Losers. Is this footage going to come back to haunt The thing with the broom? The thing? <laughs> Beautiful shot. It might be the strangest Olympic sport, one that relies more on precision and strategy than on strength or agility. But curling is actually even weirder than it looks, and it's shockingly complicated. Physicists have spent decades trying to figure out why a curling stone curls the way it does, and they still aren't totally sure. So what the hell is going on? Curling has been around since the 1500s, when Scottish peasants would grab stones for some kind of competition on frozen rivers or ponds. We're not sure what they were doing, but apparently it was fun enough to spread across the world and was eventually added to the Winter Olympics in 1998. But the strangest part about curling isn't the brooms, which heat the ice and make the stone go straighter and farther. It's not even the yelling. Hard! The strangest part is the way the stone moves on the ice, the way it curls. If you take a cup and spin it on a table, the cup curls in the opposite direction from the spin, but curling stones curl the same direction that they spin. But that's not the only weird thing. A curling stone will curl about the same amount whether it turns twice or 10 times. Why this happens depends on who you listen to. Two research teams on opposite sides of the world have very different explanations. And for the most part, they completely disagree with each other. Physicist Mark Shigelsky is a professor at the University of Northern British Columbia, and he spent two decades trying to figure out what makes a curling stone curl. In 2004, he proposed one solution, that curling stones move in this peculiar way because they're melting the ice beneath them. The front of the stone glides on a wet layer, while the back rubs against the playing surface, making the rock curl. But his theory was incomplete. For one thing, it couldn't explain why curling stones curl quite as much as they do. In 2013, researchers at Uppsala University in Sweden decided to weigh in. Curling rocks don't curl because they melt the ice, they said, but because the stones make tiny scratches on the ice sheet. The stone follows the sketches itself makes, so you don't make any sketches, but it won't curl at all. Professor Stefan Jacobson says his team's work directly led to a new kind of curling broom, nicknamed the Frankenbroom, which didn't just heat the ice, but also scratched it. So we realized that if you had something in your brush that would scratch the ice, then you could actually use that to guide your stone in the right direction. Only like one year after that, then suddenly on the market there came a lot of brushes which were able to do this. Suddenly, sweepers could completely redirect a curling stone wherever their team wanted it to go. Players and fans were furious, and the brooms were quickly banned. Jacobson says the effectiveness of this Frankenbroom proves his theory is right, but not everyone agrees. His team didn't actually quantify how much effect these tiny scratches could have. In the meantime, back in British Columbia, Shigelsky and a collaborator, Ed Lazowski, came up with a new idea, which they say can explain curling once and for all. The math is pretty complicated, but here's the basic idea. In curling, the ice isn't actually flat. It's covered in tiny bumps that reduce the friction between the ice and the rock. Their idea is that whenever the stone hits an ice pebble, it gets stuck and pivots slightly. Then, the rock slides in a straight line until it hits another ice pebble and pivots again. This happens thousands of times until a curling stone stops moving, and all the tiny pivots add up to more than a meter of curl distance. The key thing with the pivoting is that it changes the direction of motion. And that's a very difficult thing to explain and come up with. And our equation, it's got so much in it that, yeah, it makes sense that so much work has been done and it's been hard to find this. Shigelsky is using his research to develop new curling rocks that curl even more, which he said will make the sport more fun. But Shigelsky and Jacobson say they're fine if their research doesn't lead to any changes in the sport or to any practical applications outside of it. Mostly, they just want to understand why a curling stone curls.